Greetings, Ian from RTO here. Welcome to another new album review. And today it's all about live music. I mean, we've just uh, we've done Foreigner, and now we're going to look at this new live album from Steve Hackett, released on the second of December, this September. And it's Steve. It's called Genesis Revisited Live: Seconds Out and More. Um, people saying, oh, do we, how many Steve Hackett live albums do we need? We need lots, because Steve Hackett is the only person out going out there playing Genesis music now. Because, of course, Genesis are no longer. Um, and they're really good. Now, this has come out as a, two, a CD and Blu-ray. Um, I haven't got the Blu-ray yet. But I am going to get it because it's done in 5.1 surround sound. It's got promo videos and a documentary, so I might treat myself to that at some stage. Um, so on here, playing, we have got, of course, Mr. Steve Hackett on guitar, harmonica, additional bass, and the ever-present Roger King on the keyboards been with him since 2001 um, Rob Townsend on saxophone flute keyboards and percussion bass pedals again he's been in the live setup since 2001 and on vocals the multi-talented Nat Sylvan who sings like Peter sings like Phil he's been with the band on and off for many years uh, he's a great singer and then on bass we've got Jonas Reingold and 12 string string guitar he's been only in the band since 2018 and they got a new drummer now uh, took over from Gary O'Toole Craig Brundle Blundell and he sings on this as well and we've got a special guest on this one Amanda Lehman sings a certain song which we'll talk about. So what's on this album? Well of course we get seconds out in its entirety um, but first we get some of Steve Hackett's solo stuff. So you get this intro, very clever intro and that goes into one of the great tracks of Spectral Morning's Clocks. Really good version of it again. It is a it's a fantastic track and it sounds as fresh as it did back in the day. Then we get a, a track off his most current um, studio rock album from Surrender of Silence, which I've put upon, it is on the thing, but I've put it in the community. I think it's out, out either tomorrow or over, sometime over the weekend. Um, but um, it's a brilliant track and it's even better live. Really, it's a great track. Uh, but certainly better than the studio version, and that's fantastic anyway. Then we get uh, Every Day from Spectral Mornings. Classic song. Sounds good as ever. Then we get another track of that, Surrender and Silence. And this is probably, I think it is my one of my favourite tracks. The Devil's Cathedral. Again, much better live. Steve Hackett's guitar work on that is just fantastic. And then we get one of my favourite songs by Steve Hackett. Um, of course, it's Shadow of the Hierophant from The Voyage of the Acolyte. Another stunning version. Then bass pedals just boom through you. This is certainly a better track live than studio. and always has been. Uh, absolutely brilliant. So that's the basically the uh, tracks you get from, uh, from the Steve Hackett solo so then we come in two seconds out and it's the same running order so it opens up with Squonk I've never heard Nad Sylvan sing this so I, have, I don't think they've never done it and it's brilliant Nad Sylvan great singer uh 
does a wonderful version of it and it's one of my favourite tracks off the Trick of the Tail album. Then we get Carpet Crawlers from Lamb Lies down on Broadway and again Nad changes his style of singing so he sounds more like Peter. Great version and he does a great version of it. Um, then we get Robbery, Assault and Battery. Never heard them do this and it does sort of lax that wizardry of Tony Banks and some of it's played on clarinet and it doesn't really I, I, I'm i gonna it's one track off this I really think the original version or the original live version is better I think it does that lax Tony Banks the guitar works great from Steve but I don't know I, it's not a bad version of it I just think the original live version is better. Um, Afterglow, ah, brilliant track. Nad sings us brilliantly. Then we get the first, the fifth. Always a highlight of a Steve Hackett live show um, because they play the whole thing, even the piano bit at the beginning. Um, the solo on this from Steve again is just superb. And I love that track to death. Then we get I Know What I Like in Your Wardrobe. This version is not very good, to be quite honest. They've just it up a little bit, and I just think it doesn't sound right. I'm sorry. Um, then we get The Lamb Lies Down on Broadway. Uh, for some reason, they've slowed the song down a tad. But it's still good. I think it, it may be something to do with age or... I don't know, but it's still um, great, great version. Then they get the closing section of um, Musical Box. My favourite part of the song, but um, and they do a great version when they do the full thing, but that ending pit is still brilliant. And that always gives a fine performance on that. Then we get the, the epic Suppers Ready. Uh, Steve always is a super uh, um, version of this Nan always brilliant it's a great version then we get the cinema show unfortunately you don't get flute on this but you get the clarinet and it really fits in and it's a great version of this great um, playing from Rob Townsend he's a great Flautis or you know all that sort of thing he's, but the clarinet sounds really really nice and then you get the Isle of Plenty just to finish off the cinema show pretty cool uh, Dance on a Volcano stunning version of this um, Steve's guitars on this are brilliant and again Nat sings that with the same gusto as Phil Collins um, and the end it then ends with Lost Andos. Now, when they do it before, they do it like the version that Steve did on the first Inces Revisited studio album. But they've actually played it how it should be. And it's brilliant. Even with the, the clarinets in there doing some of the keyboard work from Tony Banks. It's a brilliant version of it. And it's a fantastic piece of music anyway and it's a good way to end this so it's not often I review live albums but this is a sort of rehashed version of my favourite Genesis live album their interpretation is really good um, I do like the way they do some of my favourite tracks uh, Steve Hackett in his band Perform these absolutely superbly. Um, I mean, at the moment they're out touring with Foxtrot, and I hope they do a live album of that because it'd be great to hear the whole of that live. Um, there's a couple of tracks on here I don't like the versions of and their interpretations, but 99.5% of the t tracks sound brilliant. Um, I just hope they do bring out the 
box track. They've done it with most of the stuff. So I'm going to give this an RTO ranking of 9 out of 10. Um, when I do get the DVD, though, I will do, in the new show, we're doing a review of the um, Blu-ray because it's in surround sound. I think it's a totally different sound. Okay. As I said in the foreign, I think I'm going to get a cold. So I'll probably sound very bunged up by Monday. So all it leaves me to say is have a good weekend, everybody. And thank you for your ever continuing support on the channel. Um, if it's the first time you've watched, give us a thumbs up. Um, why not subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss out on the content because there's lots goes up every day. Even in the community channel now, I'm doing stuff from the vaults. Mastermind Dave keeps putting up the uh, laundry list so you can see what's in it and what's not in it. So we'll be back on Monday. And on Monday, we've got the final part of the Vangeli story where we'll be looking at some of his collaboration work, songs that he's performed on, and just go talking about some of the art people he has produced. And then we've got a real groovy classic album next week. We're going to look at The Loving Spoonfuls, The Hum of The Loving Spoonful, which includes one of their biggest hits. And I'm sure you all know which one that is. So have a great weekend, everybody. And I will see you all on Monday. Bye for now.